guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a great day today so in today's video i'm going to be trying out some new milky gels from the madam glam chapter one elite collection um, and they also did get new packaging which i'm really here for um, i like this new box because you kind of have to like pull the tab to open it before when i used to receive my packages they would come kind of like bust it up so yeah, I definitely do love the new packaging. It's really nice and sleek and professional looking and it's super cute with like the gold design. So yeah, there's actually a total of 10 gels in this entire collection, but I picked out six that I thought were like the best and I think I do have pretty good taste. So I do hope you guys like the colors that I picked out. But of course, if you're interested in seeing the rest of the colors in the collection, I will leave the link to their website down below along with my 30% um, off discount code if you guys are interested in any of these after watching the video today. But yeah, I'm going to be doing some swatches and stuff in a few, but right now I'm just showing you like all the colors that I picked out. So yeah, I picked out um, six different shades and if you guys aren't familiar with Madame Glam, they are vegan, cruelty free, and nine free, so that's always good. And I love their bottle design. You guys know this, I say this in every video, but I really like how they have the swatch on the top of the bottle. So honestly, you really don't have to swatch them if you don't want to, because the swatch is literally at the top of the bottle. Like it's literally the gel that's in the bottle in the top of the little swatch. I'm just gonna be swatching them, obviously, so you guys can see how the gels um, perform and everything like that. But yeah, the names are on the bottom of the bottles and their names are always so freaking cute. I love the names that they come up with. They always surprise me every time. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start swatching all the colors. So the first shade that I'm swatching is called White Lace. And this is like a milky, whitish purple gel it's kind of like a milky white with just a hint of purple um, and as you can see it's so pretty i just love milky gels like in general but the fact that they have like colored milky gels now i'm like going crazy i'm just like in love with these um this next one is called cake for dinner and it's like a milky white pink shade and what i also do love about these polishes is that they are milky gels, but you can also build them up. So they can be either a milky gel or a regular um, gel polish, depending on how many coats you apply. So you can do many different looks with these. Um, that like orangey peachy shade is called Strawberry Milk. Um, I don't really know why they called it that because it's kind of like an orange color, but it's still really cute. I love that color. Um, and this next one is called Bubblegum Sky. It's a baby blue. That's actually the one that I'm going to be using in the video today. I was debating on whether or not to use that one or the peachy shade, but since we're still kind of in winter, I didn't know if it would be like appropriate to use the peachy shade. But yeah, I'll definitely be using that one later on. Um, the other one, the purple one, it's like a light lilac shade called Milky Dream. And then this one is like a nude um, peachy shade. And I'm only doing like one coat on camera and then a second coat and a top coat off camera. And these are all the swatches after I was done um, doing two coats and a layer of top coat. As you can see, you can build them up. Okay, so jumping right into the tutorial, I'm going to start by applying my dehydrator. I use Mia Secret Dehydrator and my two coats of Young Nails Protein Bond to prep my nails. I did um, apply my nail tips and stuff off camera and I do have like a thin layer of nude poly gel on my nails to protect them because I changed my nails so much in case you didn't know. And I'm also going in with a layer of Madame Glam base gel. Um, I'm going to be doing an all gel set and you want to make sure that you apply your base gel first um, so that, you know, the gel has something to grip onto and you protect your nails from staining and stuff like that. And I'm also using my Madame Glam mini um, UV LED lamp that I received um, in the advent calendar um, last year. So yeah, I can't believe I'm saying last year like it was so long ago, but yeah, you get me. But yeah, so now I'm going in with a thin layer of that baby blue milky gel called Bubblegum Sky and I'm applying it very thin to really get that milky effect. Like I said, 
um, you can really build these up to make the color opaque or just leave them like milky gels that's why i really really like these polishes so much but yeah the inspo for this set was those like floral adidas track suits i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but if you've seen my post on instagram i know you guys really liked it because you guys were like commenting on it and everything by the way thank you guys so much for like commenting um so much nice things on my videos and my instagram posts i really do appreciate you guys but yeah that was the inspo for these um i have these little stickers that i got from double dip for like participating in their holiday promo and i've been wanting to do like an adidas set with them and this thought just like popped in my head and like um i thought of like milk bath because that's what madam glam kind of wanted me to create but then at the same time i didn't want to do like milk bath because i feel like you know i've done that like a couple times on my channel already i'm using these foils from one of the um mccart transfer foil sets and i'm basically just cutting like long strips out i'm not using all of these on this hand um, some of them are getting used on my other hand obviously but i'm just cutting out a few strips so that i have like some to work with so i don't have to keep like cutting them out and stuff um, you just want to make sure that you cut them out um, to be like the length of your nails i have really long nails so yeah so i did go ahead and apply like a layer of this mccart foil gel off camera and i did cure that for 60 seconds and then i waited like 30 seconds before like um, applying the foils on so that the nail can get tacky um, and basically i just stick the transfer foil onto my nail and then i use like a silicone tool to smooth it out and then i just peel the backing off and there you go it's that simple um, and i know the colors look like super bold right now and I didn't really like that because I wasn't like going for that really bold and bright look. Um, so I'm actually going to be like applying another layer of the milky gel over it. And like I said, I'm going in with a second layer of the milky gel. So I'm doing a very, very thin layer. I don't want to cover up the flowers too much. I just wanted to like diffuse like the brightness because the flowers were really, really like bright and in your face. So applying just that thin layer of the milky gel over them just gave the nails just that right touch because the stickers they're really small so i didn't want the bright flowers in the background because then they would get lost in the nails if you get me like with the bright flowers you wouldn't be able to see them that much if you get what i'm saying so yeah that's why i went over the nails with just a thin layer of that gel and i did forget to mention but these have like a very slight shimmer in them which also makes them even more pretty like there's like a slight bluish like shimmer on the inside of this polish you can't really see it too much probably on camera but there is like a little bit of shimmer so yeah i did go ahead and cure the nails for 60 seconds and now i'm going to go ahead and just encapsulate all the nails with this mccart clear poly gel it wouldn't be right if i didn't encapsulate them with my mccart clear poly gel and I'm also using my um, Madam Glam poly gel brush that came with the advent calendar as well. And I'm just using some slip solution that I already have. I believe this one is from Gershon. It's like a two-in-one nail cleanser slash slip solution. You can use a slip solution, um, isopropyl alcohol, 70% or higher. Um, and you can also use a base gel as a slip solution. So if you don't have any of those, base gel does work as well. So yeah, I just squeezed the poly gel out onto the nail basically. Um, I was having a little bit of a hard time squeezing the poly gel out of the tube. I don't know why, I must be like so weak or 
the poly gel are just like really hard to squeeze out but yeah i just did that off camera so you guys didn't have to see me struggling to like squeeze it out like really hard so yeah now i'm just like patting it in place i always start by the cuticle no matter what i do with poly gel and then you just want to go like side to side down the nail and then like when you get to the free edge if you have any like excess poly gel you can remove it and i also do like um smooth out the nail with my brush before i go ahead and cure it in my lamp Okay, so moving on to the filing, unfortunately I thought I was recording for the first three nails, but I guess I wasn't. Um, but I did catch the rest of the filing on the pinky, the thumb, and then obviously shaping up the nails and everything. Um, so yeah, I do file all my nails exactly the same, if you're wondering. So yeah, I'm using my Melody Susie 2-in-1 e-file and dust collector. I'm also using a fine grit safety bit from a cart um, just to debulk the nails. Um, I didn't have much to file because I didn't make these really thick um, because I'm going to be applying like gel and stickers on top of them and I didn't want them to be like super bulky. So yeah I'm just going around the cuticle and just like smoothing over the nail and like tapering in the sides like there really wasn't much to take off. I'm basically just like redefining the shape.
And now I'm just taking my cuticle bit just to go around the cuticle and seal around the cuticle. This is from the same um, drill bit set from a cart that I always use. You want to use your cuticle bit on a low speed to avoid like um, making indentations in your nail and stuff like that. And I also do use my finger to like feel around the cuticle and I did get a little bit of polish on the side of my middle finger i don't know how that happened but yeah i'm just lightly like filing that off with a hand file you can use like a hand file when that happens and i know it looks like i was aggressively filing <laughs> my finger but this video is extremely sped up but yeah make sure you use your cuticle bits on a low speed to avoid damaging um, your nails and stuff like that um, and you always want to keep your drill moving. You never want to stay in one spot for too long because then that causes the drill bit to like heat up on your nail and that's how you get like rings of fire and indentations and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, you can use your finger to like feel around the cuticle and like if your nail like catches on anything, then you just want to take your cuticle bit and go back and seal around the cuticle because then that means you haven't really sealed that well. That's a little trick that I like to tell everybody because it took me so long to realize that. Um, yeah, it took me a long time to figure that out. But that's one way um, that I use my finger as a guide to like kind of like know if I sealed around the cuticle. Now I'm just gonna take my hand file. I use a 100, 180 grit. And I'm just shaping up the nails the same way I always do. I'm doing a long um, like coffin shape, um, filing straight with my hand file and then angling my file in to get the coffin shape as usual. Um, and I just like file over the surface of the nail if like I feel like I have to smooth it out some more. And then I'll just be like buffing the nails.
All right, and to finish up the design, I'm just going in with the Adidas stickers now from Double Dip. These are so cute. I'll link them down below along with my discount code if you guys are interested in them. I honestly didn't even know that they sold nail stickers. Um, so yeah, I was really happy when I seen these. I like jumped right on it. Um, they gave me like a gift card for like participating in their holiday promo. So yeah, I definitely had to cop these. So yeah, I'm just using some little McCart tweezers to peel them off and place them on the nail. You want to make sure they're flat. For the stripes, I'm actually cutting them in half so that I can use them on both sides of the nail. I wish there was more of these stripes, um, but yeah, got to make it work somehow. So I just cut it in half and then I'm placing um, the stripe kind of like almost on the entire nail, but not really. I don't know they just look so cute I, but I definitely just wanted to use the white ones because I had the thought of one of those like adidas floral track suits with like the white logo and everything on them and these just remind me so much of those and don't mind the thumb on my other hand I accidentally grazed over um, a cut that I had when I was filing of course I wouldn't be me if I didn't do that um, but I'm glad it was on my thumb and not on my actual fingers so yeah, now I'm just going to go ahead and top coat all the nails with the Madame Glam No Wipe Top Gel. And I'm going to be placing these little like AB like um, Swarovski crystals that I got from Michaels just into the gel because, you know, I'm not really keeping these on for too long. Um, but if you do want to keep them on long, you might want to use like bling gel or something like that. But yeah, that is pretty much all for this set. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you like this set. I really love it. I think it's so cute. I think I did a good job at like making it or at least reminding you guys of those Adidas tracksuits. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, let me know what you think of these gels and what your favorite color was. Um, and if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I do upload a new video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.